Is it too late to go back and tell Nebula that I loved her? Oh, Vec! You okay? I'll be fine. I just don't like the feeling of this place. It's alright. I'm right here. Hmm. Looks like the barriers are down. So, where is Rowan? My guess? Probably the tallest tower. Come on, this way. If it isn't the heroes of Mythos, coming to stop me from ending this pitiful world, how entirely predictable. <laughs> Here I thought we would at least catch you by surprise. Don't be ridiculous. I only anticipated your interference. It's only natural that a wasp would defend its hive from destruction. But I will admit that I'm flattered by the reception. So many vessels gathered in one place. Only to fall to an eldritch god. Eldritch god? You're not that scary. Sometimes the scariest villain is not the monster lurking under your bed, but the monster that looks just like you. I've worked too hard to be stopped by a group of childish outlanders. Then why don't we go ahead and end this chapter? I'm getting sick and tired of the premise. Miley, now! you one. I've got your back, Cam. Glad to hear it. Now it's my turn. Dan, do you have that resistance charm ready? I have no idea, so let's just cross our fingers. Justin, let's go. <laughs> How does that feel, you mother? Fucker. He just keeps flying around! We can't reach him! Mm -hmm. We'll give him a reason to land. Mario, do you have that cloud spell? I still don't know why you asked me to do this! Don't worry about it. I have an idea. Fortunately, there's not a lot of this in the air. All the darkness in the air is keeping the Viz from regenerating! That doesn't matter, though. I only need a little. Holy shit, that worked! It 
it's not over yet. Chris, Sin, take the shot! It's like we're not even affecting him. He's not even reacting to any of our attacks. Damn it. Just keep your heads down. I'll fucking gut him. Ha! <laughs> What's the matter? You got pretty quiet all of a sudden, Rowan. You're beginning to test my patience, Vessels. Then it's a good thing I was just a distraction. Now, Dan! I didn't think that would actually work. Detonation charm, baby. Let's go! Don't celebrate too early. He's not dead yet. It's the final fight, and Swan still didn't bring my gun. Is that really your top priority right now? That really doesn't matter. Just aim for him when he's in the sky. He keeps dodging. This is really annoying. He can't dodge everything, right? He's not a god. I, I mean, he is, but uh, he's really bad. Just keep giving everyone else an opening. Never done something like this before, but let's give it a try. Stay still. Got him. I mean, yeah, but it's not doing much, Lily. <laughs> Just give it a second. Watch and learn, Ovec. She used Leviticus to freeze her arrows. Nice, Lily. This is your time to strike. Go. Just like old times, right? <laughs> Too bad it might be our last. Don't think about that for now. Focus on the fight. Oh, come on. A little banner in the face of death never killed you. <laughs> Let's finish him off, everyone! You have no idea how long I've waited to do this! Enough of this. I believe you finally overstayed your welcome, Vessels. It was entertaining at first, but now you've crossed the line! A long time ago, following the demise of the Archangels, the goddess, Unity, created a new race of creatures that wouldn't fall to darkness. A race was neither light nor dark at its core. She called it Humanity. They sprung up from nothingness, building their empire from the ashes of their predecessors in Unity's name. Religion became a significant part of daily life and prayer was commonplace. 
Humanity would pray to Unity every waking hour to thank her for the gift of life. In exchange for our dedication, Unity walked among her people and gave humanity gifts of tremendous celestial power. However, for a divine being who preaches the importance of unification, I quickly came to realize that not all humans were created equal. I never knew my parents. There isn't a time I can recall their faces in my life. I've stood alone against the world all this time, starved and ignored. I did what was necessary to survive, stealing loaves of bread, swiping discarded books, drinking water from fountains or rivers. That was all I could do. But obviously, that lifestyle could not last forever. I was caught, and for my crimes I paid the ultimate price. My right to exist was torn away, and I was forced into servitude. I became a slave to Unity's perfect society. I was worked to the point of exhaustion, and if I made even a single mistake, I would be beaten or branded. As I grew, I learned to grip my teeth and bear it. The light of the goddess sickened me. I came to realize just how little we mattered to Unity. She believed herself to be righteous and holy for giving humanity the world, but in reality, she was simply granting power for the wealthiest, the most devoted of her followers. They were the ones that tormented me, and yet they never faced the consequences. I turned my back on the light entirely. I abandoned it as it had abandoned me. That was when a voice began to call to me. My very shadow started moving on its own, morphing its shape to speak to me. It whispered lost knowledge into my ears and taught me about magic so dark that I couldn't help but be compelled. That was when I began my plot. The final gift Unity gave to humanity was known as the Soul Stone. It is said that the stone would allow the souls of the dead to pass through it and enter the heavens to mingle with their afterlives furthermore. This artifact was collected by the head of the chapel who declared a gathering at dusk to thank Unity for her gift and bestow its blessings upon the fallen. I took this gathering as the perfect opportunity to take my revenge. I stole the gemstone from its pedestal, avoiding guards and priests alike as I struggled to keep it within my grasp. At first it rejected my energy, but I found my own ways to force it to cooperate. With dark magic I corrupted the soul stone turning it into the perfect weapon. I slammed it into my head and began using its power to steal the souls of every being within the civilization. By daybreak, the Empire had fallen, and I was the last one standing. I took back power over my own life and made my vow. I would destroy this world. Perfection is a lie given to us by worthless gods who couldn't care less about our suffering. Light was a mistake. Order is the reason why so many are cast out by society. I will ascend with the power of a god and fix this world. I shall recreate it, and allow darkness to overtake it once more and start it anew. I'm done with order and I'm sick of false promises of the light. I am the savior of Rem, and I will do whatever I must to destroy it. Look at you all, battered and beaten at my feet. You've hardly left a scratch on me. Oh shit, no, 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 no. Damn it, that's Soulstone. We can't get close to him. I've worked far too hard to be bested by the likes of you. I've survived a millennia for this moment, allying myself with power-hungry fools who believe any lie they hear. But now, finally, my story has reached its conclusion. You're right, Vessels. I'm sick of this chapter's premise. It's time for darkness to create this world anew. It's time for- <laughs> Ugh! 
the gem is in his forehead. Get it now before he ends it, damn it. Candy! <laughs> the soul stone. No, no. Die! The Citadel. It's sinking. We, we gotta get out of here. I don't think we have time. We're going down. Then we're going down together. 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 <laughs> together. 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 Alrighty, everyone. So there's no dialogue or anything today. It's just the cinematic. Um, I know it's a little bit like of a somber note out here because it's the end, but I assure you there is a lot of wonderful like things to come soon. So like, uh, well, first of all, 
quick note we do have a website ovec made it it's really really cool he worked really hard on it we also are doing merch uh, okay, I'm gonna go to be right back screen. Actually, here we go. Because <laughs> the, the, the announcement little blip he gave us keeps just fading to black afterwards. So I had it on loop, but it's just gonna keep blinking like that. Um, but hello, everyone. Welcome. I hope you're all having wonderful day slash night, evening, brunch, breakfast, wherever you are. This is not the end of the stream. I'm gonna give a brief overview of the itinerary. Um, I can do that first, actually, and then I'll greet everyone and we'll kind of get in on into things and all of that. But um, yeah. That, that is the end of Mythos. It's so crazy saying that. This has been a two year long project, but okay, okay, before I get into this, itinerary. So what's gonna be happening right now? That is the end of Mythos, but to celebrate kind of the end of this very long series that we've put in like a lot of time and work into, we wanted to have kind of like a bit of a talk back stream. So right now there is a multi-twitch link. I don't know where it's linked at the moment, but it exists somewhere. Um, but everyone is going to be touring some places that are very memorable for them. I'm going to be taking you guys to like the very beginning of Vanguard and we're going to kind of go over just like a, a couple of different things that I worked on throughout this project and we'll talk about stuff. If you have any questions for me, um, feel free to ask. It can be literally anything relating to Mythos, my character, so on and so forth. Um, I'll be answering them as we go around and then... It's going to be a shorter stream today. We're going to raid the Fatur, join him up, and we'll go over some more stuff with a bit of a tour and end off with a QA. and a Like, it'll be, um, like, a very large, like, group one with, like, all of the vessels that are available. All the vessels. I mean, content creators is probably a better term right now. All of the content creators that are available. And it'll be, like, this whole big thing. So, yeah. With that, let me scroll up really quickly and make sure I greet everyone. I know Wolfie said that they had to go at some point, so if you're still here, hello, I hope you're doing very well. If not, no worries. If you're in the VOD, hi. I hope you're having a great time. Um, let me scroll up. Hello, Ven. I'll give you a little bit of a wave. Hi, Arky Kikis. Hi, Drake. Hello, Cozy. Welcome back. I am playing Minecraft. This is actually, um, you came in on like this series that has been going on for like years this is the finale of like a 200 plus episode series <laughs> but hello hello um let me go down if i miss anyone feel free to tell me and i'll i'll like rectify it oh my god demon cat hi how are you today how are you and piper doing um for anyone that also missed the cinematic because i know we like played it at the very beginning of the stream. The VOD will be up. Also, the cinematic will get posted to the YouTube page for the series as well, eventually. Sometimes it's not the best about it. Hi, Wolf, how are you? Uh, when are you gonna update it to your, yes, this will be updated to my YouTube within a few days. It'll be in the unlisted playlist. So keep that in mind, the public version of it won't be out for like another couple of weeks because I'm kind of posting like as many VODs as I can a day in that way. But yes, the actual like, um. The video will be available. You just have to go into the playlist and navigate through it. And the playlist is in the playlist tab. Does that make sense? I hope it did. Fingers crossed. Um, but hi, everyone. Uh, for everyone who just joined in and all of that, again, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing some tours, a little bit of a talk back. If you have any questions about literally anything from all of Mythos, you can go, you can date back to the beginning. You can ask questions about like characters and whatnot and so on and so forth. Let me know. And we'll do that as we kind of tour around and go places. I'm so excited. Um... And we're going to be doing this in like op mode and everything. So you get to see stuff that you don't usually see. Very fancy. I, I know there's like a couple like backstage things that are kind of hidden around we can go through. Um, from my side of things, we're going to be starting off with Vanguard, the place where it all began. And then we are going to kind of just make our way over to East Haven and then meet up with the Fatur and whatnot because a lot of my arcs are joined up with him. At that point, I will be raiding him and I'll kind of like throw you guys into a call with him once we like kind of integrate all the streams and slowly all of the other streaming chats will also integrate with all of us and we'll eventually just have like one central location where we have like a full like blown Q&A with more general questions but my only question is when did Cam evolve from chicken to angel you know I think they just they grow up so fast man you know like Cam out here she was our chicken for the longest time you know our little chicken and all that but um she got buff <laughs> You don't typically see buff chicken. I mean, actually, you know what? I'm tempted to look it up, but also I don't want to be scarred for life, so I don't want to look that up. But, like, in general, it just kind of, it happened that way, I suppose. Uh, okay, let us, do, 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 do. I'm going to bring us into here. Let me get this up. Do, do, do. Hopefully that crosses over. I have my chat displayed on the side. I'm good. Piper is somewhere around my house, but I don't know exactly where. That is fair. That is fair. Uh, okay, let's do a little bit of a tour. Let's go to game mode. Ooh. 
You can see all the crazy shit happening in chat because we're in op right now. All right. Ooh, Vanguard. Oh my god. Uh, it's so crazy because now that I've been uploading, like, going from, like, what is it? Unlisted to public. It's actually attracting like more people to the series on YouTube because that's just how the algorithm works or whatever. Um, and so I'm getting people like talking about Vanguard in the early, early days. And it's so wild to me because it's just like a bunch of um, like square boxes of dirt. And I like, I literally remember standing like right around here-ish building up like, cause I think there was a, a house here that got destroyed at some point, but like building up a house and like Ven and I were talking cause Ven was here during these times. And I, we were making some joke about me with like the grappling hook and like being a spider. And it's so crazy to me that like, one, the house isn't even here anymore. It's just gone. But like two, that that was almost two years ago. Like how wild is that? And I mean, Vanguard within itself, this was kind of like my baby coming into the series. I remember Spider Lally. Yeah, exactly. I, I had like some like really cool visions coming into this of like what I wanted it to be like. I found like all these Pinterest images of like pirate towns and they were like these like rocks nestled with like houses built into the side of them, but, like all like deep within the ocean. And I mean, mind you at the time, my building capabilities weren't where they are at currently. And I still have a lot to go like learning and growing and evolving from it. But I will say all the things I wanted to do, I wasn't really capable of doing. And you can tell within some of these designs, like the houses, I, I had this concept of like, um, like kind of thrown together a little bit, you know, the, the, the scuffed, if that makes any sense. Like that was the goal. I wanted it to feel scuffed because I was going for this like very piratey feel, like very kind of all over the place. I liked like the idea of like jutting out houses in different directions and so on and so forth and having like these weird angles and like funky stuff. And also like the whole concept of being in the middle of the ocean. Um, it didn't execute how I wanted it to, but honestly, I'm kind of like, I, I, I look at it and I'm very happy. And as we go through, like, there's like the newer buildings of Vanguard, like this, I was like trying things like with like different paths in the, the, the thingy bobber. And I, I know one of my favorites is always going to be over here. If I can get to it. My render distance on this server is poo poo, but like, <laughs> I don't think I have, wait, 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 let me go back here. We got bug, oh, bug, like this view, shit. <laughs> this view over here was like one of my favorites. I remember being so proud when we built this because like I, I'd made this, this is just the same building left and right, but like reversed with world edit. So fun note there, but like having the bridge and then this and like, ah, even now, like, look at that. It's so pretty with the sunset. Oh my God. Definitely favorite view of Vanguard, especially with this and whatnot. And like, I, when I look at Vanguard, I think of all the times, like in the calls in between streams when I'd be working on it and building it up and just like really putting my heart and soul into this thing. And then there's also things about Vanguard that are super duper scuffed. This rock, for example, most scuffed shit. It's kind of like, um, I was going for, you know, I don't know what I was going for now. Now that I look at it, I don't know. It was supposed to, there was going to be more rocks so it wouldn't look so, you know, out of place. Cause I found this one reference image of like these, I mentioned it earlier, like the house is built into the sides of rocks, but it needed to be much larger and there needed to be more of them, but it just kind of exists here now and we're going to roll with it. Another good like update is the docks. I remember if you go to early mythos, uh, like Vanguard, the docks did not exist. This was a huge like update to Vanguard in general when it came out because like of how it is. Also the funniest thing, I remember building this boat and it was before like Ven, uh, Ven, no, 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 Ren's ship existed. And I remember I just finished the boat and I was so proud of it and I was showing it off. And then Rex is like, oh, we've been building this ship actually for uh, like an upcoming character as well. And he shows me Ren's ship and it's like fucking 10 times the size. Like look at a little derpy boat. And then there's this giant one. And it is wild. The difference to how cool you are here compared to Terraria is scary. Oh my God, I hate Terraria. The funny note about that. I like, <laughs> the re okay, okay, let me rephrase. I don't hate Terraria. I hate playing it with how I have because we always play it on the hardest setting. I've never had a chance to actually learn the game and therefore I despise it. I despise it so much. They have to, con they like pretty much have to convince me every single time we go to stream Terraria because I know for a fact I'm going to dislike it every time. And I, I always do, mind you. Partially my fault, partially the game mode of it being on Master. But I do know a lot more about this game than I do Terraria. So <laughs> a little more knowledgeable here. I've, we're also like, this is a long-term project and whatnot that we've done for so, so long. Plus just building in general is my favorite. But honestly, of all things I've built in Minecraft, or I guess in this series, this is probably, uh, I don't want 
want to say it's my least favorite build, but because it was my first, it ha- it holds a special place in my heart. But it's not my like favorite or most proud of work. I'm proud of it in the sense of it's something I wanted to do from the beginning and I stuck with it. But I will say, as I've grown as a builder since the beginning of the series, I have done some really cool builds, which we'll get to. So we're, we're actually, let's move on to, um, if you have any questions about Vanguard, let me know. I can't wait until you reach another level and build this sort of stuff in Terraria 2. Oh my god, I don't even know how yet, but that would be dope. I'm already making sure we decorate the place right, you know? Like, we get the paintings and all the like, tables and all that, you know? We gotta make it looking nice out there. But, okay, this is a very old build. No, not many, like, new things have been built. The walls were actually not made by me. These were made for the, the Vanguard takeover, and I, I don't want to credit the wrong people, but I'm pretty sure it was, like, Ellie and a few others that worked on the walls they did great I ended up helping renovate them like with this design with Ellie for when we changed it back to like vanguard theming and all that but most of the credit goes to Ellie honestly and the others that helped them with it because they did a fantastic job but the rest of vanguard looking spicy I also had a lot of help from people we had to de-lag vanguard oh my god the fucking Christmas crates are back absolutely wild let us go we're gonna go oh my god my waypoints are so funny so so bad though okay um let's go to east haven because I'm, I'm trying to stick with things that i can do alone at the moment before i kind of like join up with other people because we're gonna go into rex's chat soon I, one of my favorite things to talk about i'm looking forward to talking about reverence because that one's like my little mini baby i loved building that town and most importantly the twilight holy guacamole guys that shit is literally my baby i'm 10 months of building. Hi, Hiko. How are you doing today? Welcome. We're going over like this old mythos lore. Oh, wait, mythos will probably mean nothing. This old series <laughs> that is ending today called Mythos. Uh, all right, East Haven. So this one is unfortunate, this arc, because I didn't get to finish it properly. We kind of wrote it off as being in the work. And the, the main problem, thank you, Hiko, for the follow, was that we had the deadline for like the end of the season. And we all like knew the deadline we had to finish and wrap up our arcs. I was also in the middle of midterms and to write one of these streams took me an entire day. Like, I mean, I'd wake up at 10 in the morning and I would be writing 50 odd pages of just like dialogue right up till stream times, which ended up always getting pushed to 11 p.m. anyways, which hence the like really late streams. Um, because of that, it was not sustainable during midterms and the arc kind of got cut in half so it was supposed to be two two episodes longer two streams longer i suppose but i mean okay starting with the outside of this build uh i tried to replicate the east haven style with giving it my own flair because i like adding some like extra things and whatnot and so on and so forth so you got like a little bit of greenery you got the main building of the workshop and then you come in you got your little secretary i love decorating with paintings guys I, if any build I've worked on, like if we go to the Aether and you notice like how there's paintings all over the place in the Aether, that's because I, I put my little, my little fingerprints all over that place. You see a paintings like all over the place? It's because of me. I, I fucking, I love paintings. Um, <laughs> so this place is littered with them. I always like the very cluttered style, especially when it came to building a, like a very, a workshop in this kind of like techie area which is not like super advanced but also advanced at the same time because like when it comes to mythos tech i think of it as like you have this is like teramos is supposed to be like really up there and like innovation and like ahead of their time supposedly but there are still some like areas that are lacking behind so we can come in like here it's a little shipment office secretary office and then we got our little lift out here so you can click our button come on down and we enter the workshop. And so I wanted to reflect that idea of like this place being like innovative, but still not in the modern sense that we have like in real life. It's innovative for the timing here. The Twilight was great. The Twilight, oh my God. You guys didn't even get to see half of it with like the way it was. Cause like when we traversed the walls, which is my favorite part in the Twilight, um, we traversed it in the, the present, which had the cave in. So unfortunately you didn't get to see like the really gorgeous views that are on the walls in the present. And like, I remember cause um, Twilight got cut a lot as well, again, for the same reason of like, sometimes we have to make hard decisions with mythos because of the timing of deadlines and whatnot. And it's just how things roll. Also, hi chocolate chip cookies, welcome to the stream. Um, 
So that got cut, but we'll, we'll look at it today and it'll be really, really cool. Uh, okay, continuing with this, we have our second secretary down here. These are like the twins. They look very similar. The only difference is their eye color and they are chaotic, chaotic mess. You got like the really nice one out here. Thank you, chocolate chip cookies for the follow. I hope you're having a lovely day. Uh, welcome to Mythos, by the way. This is a lore series that is actually ending today, wildly enough, but yeah. Um, we're kind of doing a talk back and exploring some locations from the series and all of that. Uh, okay, yeah, so, yep, the only difference between the two secretaries, their eye color. Coming on over here, oh my god, this is a really scuffed room, you never see this. It was, because we're gonna have a security thing, but then it got too lazy, so we didn't build it. But we have a bunch of, like, random ass, like, we have the door here that keeps messing up, and oh man, the sliding bed, we'll get to that. Arky built that, and it makes me so happy. I also made a bunch of little, I mean, these are never gonna get used, but I made a bunch of beds. They're all workable and shit, so... That's kind of cool. Wiley, hi, Poichin. How are you doing? We're exploring some builds at the moment. Pat, pat. Yeah, lots of pats. Ugly crying. No. Don't be sad. It's okay. It's okay. We have, I I can't stress enough. Oh my God. Blah, how many amazing like things are coming like your way. We, we've been working so hard on just like a bunch of different stuff. Um, one of them being like the build stream I was gonna do a couple days ago. That's a preview of something that's coming in the near future. Of course it crashed, so I didn't get to show it off. Uh, maybe I'll eventually be able to. It's it's expanding and all of that. So maybe we'll do a build stream sometime soon. But uh, okay, we got, this is a new little security thing that we didn't actually like do anything with and all that. But yeah, so here that is. Now we have the tour entrance up here, which is just a little walkway. I liked the idea that like, this is the dude that runs this program or whatnot. He really likes giving tours. He likes showing off that, you know, he's the head of something like this important. So you come into this grand workshop, which just really looks like, it looks mighty fine. Um, Arky was able to lay out like the basis for everything, but then I kind of like came in with my little fingerprints and shit and started decorating the shit out of it. So you see all these paintings? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, but I, I really wanted to again, kind of get that vibe of cluttered, but like, really like, I don't know, steampunk, I guess? That, yeah, steampunk is a good way to put it. So you got like all these like chests and different work areas. You got these little toolboxes. Everyone has their goggles because they're, they're, they're goggle boys out here. I don't know. And then we make our way to like the rest of the facility. If we go into spectator, there's like some cute things around. There's, I think Ovec put like an Among Us thing. Oh, yep, here it is. There's so many Among Us memes all throughout the Mythos world. It is so funny. Like they're everywhere. I, I can't even, I think there's there was like this one stream, I forget which one it is, but it's a running joke that like in a very serious one, I think it was on Rex's perspective. Um, there was like a, someone put an Among Us thing in like one of the builds and it wasn't supposed to be there. I was like, you had to take it out before the serious stream and they totally left it in for the stream and it's so fucking funny. Uh, so yeah, we got the little Among Us thing over there. Very, very cute, very cute indeed. Is there any other like things? Um. Oh, I do, okay. Yeah, so there's some weird back rooms in this build because of how it was built. So there's like random things like this because we ended up changing the design a bit. Um, and it's because originally when this was being built, um, this hallway right here, we called it the hallway to heaven because the entire facility was a straight shot down this hallway. And the thing is, I don't have the strongest computer. So, so it looked like <laughs> it would get to the point where we couldn't see the end of the hallway and it would just be like this bright light and we had to, you know, fix it and all that. I'm making the newly unofficial sort of Mythos National Anthem. Oh, that's cute. I like that. I love that. So we had to fix it and it ended up adding a couple of days onto building. But yeah, kind of roll around. You got like the different rooms and whatnot. Personal favorite, I do love Kenneth's office. I wanted it to feel an absolute mess. Like shit is all around. Sadly, no like thing here. No, no Harry Potter, but we do have the bed, which is one of my favorite things in all of Mythos. The fact that this is a rollout bed and it, oh God, it's so funny. I love it. I love it so much. Um, yeah, he sleeps in his office. I, okay, I know everyone hates on Kenneth and of course like Lily hates on Kenneth in character, but the dude works hard. Like his whole story is, you know, he came in, he really cares about these cyber soldiers and like climbing the ladder and he's talented, but he kind of is a little bit of a pushover. So poor dude, he kind of gets goaded into things he doesn't need to do. So he sleeps in his office, absolutely depressing. Uh, we make our way down, we got like different, I wanted the storage rooms to all be themed so they weren't just like randomly there. We didn't even go in here, but this is a thing that exists. It's just like a little like weapon vault. 
casually. <laughs> you know, it just it just really do be that way. Uh, the head supervisor office. He's got his little the meep switch, but he calls it like the the fun switch or whatever. I don't know. Very very adorable. The testing chambers. This whole build was honestly really fun to make. A flame and Arky helped me out a shit ton with it. Um, they're the real ones. I adore them. Oh, I don't think we got to see this on stream, but Flame put in a little dog in this this little this bathroom booth, so it's so freaking cute. Oh man. Um, in general, the East Haven arc, like I said, it was meant to be longer. Uh, the whole like plot of it was how do I put this? Like you had these like people and whatnot. You had Warren, who's kind of like the scapegoat dude. We all thought, you know, oh oh Warren, he's he's such an asshole. He's got to be evil. He's he's actually not. He has this like whole story where he just really looks up to Lenore and like he's followed her work for a long time. So when we fucking walked in with Lenore and like she was, you know, like repping us and we turned out to be like these like, oh my God, wait, what is happening here? 218.10 to 218.30. I don't know what this sign means. How long has this been here? I don't know. Um, but, oh God, Little Tiles is so scuffed. We have the little computer room over here. Woo! Yeah, he just really looked up to Lenore, and so it, it really, really bothered him when we got repped by her, and we weren't, like, as talented as, in his eyes, he thought he was. So, like, yeah, but he also is actually talented, but he just has this kind of superiority complex going for himself. So, yeah, we would have thought that he was, like, the edict dude, but he actually wasn't. It was gonna be a different character, and I don't know, like, if you guys can guess who it is based on the information that's been presented so far. Oh my god, I still have the scuff texture pack on that gives, bl like, the, the black fire. By the way, I do remember them. I forget which stream it was, but it was recently. You wanted me to use a fire sword, and I wasn't allowed to for lore reasons because we had this texture pack on, so this is supposed to be void fire. It's done with a texture pack, and so we weren't, like, in lore supposed to use any fire products because it would look like we were using void fire. So a little, little fun, like, detail there. But I didn't want to, like, say that in the stream, but I remember you were saying that, and I was like, oh, I hope they don't think I'm ignoring them. And I meant to say it at the end of the stream, but I totally forgot, but I got reminded right now when I saw the fire. So that's a little explanation. Oh, yeah, look at the beds, the little bunk beds. I had so much fun building this one. This is a really nice build. So you got, like, the little individual things. Um, There was actually going to be a little robot fighting arena in this this isn't gonna look like this it was gonna be like a little a fake dorm room that would have like a painting that led into this like robot fighting arena and yeah, yeah i hope that answers that question <laughs> a few days late but you know who cares but there was gonna be this whole plot where warren because we, we think he's edict we were gonna destroy his like quote-unquote greatest creation that he was working on in like the one of the private workshops and then he would like find out but he couldn't prove it was us so he challenged us to a robot like fighting arena thingy bob bobber and it was like, this whole funny bit thing like and i don't know if anyone's ever seen community but we wanted to base it off of that one episode where like um they were doing like hey it was troy going through like the, the what do you call it but it was the plumber or the janitor like a, a university or whatever and they had to do this like air conditioning like fight <laughs> we had to fix an air conditioning in like this heat chamber or whatever and we wanted it to radiate that same vibe but it would be like this it would be a robot fighting so big hero six yeah, yeah it, would, it would be really cool um it didn't happen unfortunately like a lot of things got cut like i was saying but it was, it was really cool beth over here she was gonna be the edict person the whole like plot line with her was that um instead of being held back as like it was being framed as to all of these other interns she was pretending to be bad so that she could kind of like fall into the background and just get all the information about like all of the other interns because no one suspects like you know the, the the clumsy one you know the one that like struggles and whatnot so she was like the eyes and ears of the head dude I forget his name, not Cornelius, Cornelius is Warren, uh, Lenore's friend, I forget his name on the top of my head, he exists, he's a thing, he, he's a person, but yeah, I could see Lally were baking Baymax, oh my god, that would be so cute, I would literally die, um, <laughs> I love Baymax, but Hero 6 is such a good movie, there's a lot of good Disney animated films, but yeah, I mean, that pretty much covers this, there was like more to the arc and whatnot there was a lot of planning about this and like all the different characters were going to have their own arcs and whatnot but it obviously it got glossed over because of timing and just like everything and that's the case with a lot of things in mythos i know like if we look at a theory for example 
that was supposed to be a lot longer. Uh, there was going to be the fourth area, the the rapture. Was it rapture? I'm trying to think. I think that was its name. Uh, we just never got to it, period. So it's very unfortunate. But um, we made the cuts necessary to get us out of there and to, like, get back to Mythos so we could wrap up towards, like, the end of the season. And just, yeah, here we are. I mean, Mythos is done. How wild is that? It's kind of weird saying it, too. I mean, okay. I'm trying to think. There's not really much else I can show off at the moment that doesn't involve other people. So I think I'll raid Rex soon, but I will ask, like, are there any questions, any, like, things that you want to, like, ask about? It could be, like, things about past arcs and whatnot. I'm here. I, I can, like, kind of, like, do my best to answer and all of that and so on and so forth. I figured because it was only three. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I knew it. Yeah. But, yeah. I fi Yeah, it, the, the third, yeah. Because... It would have been a large scale build again, and it wasn't, it was gonna be very difficult to do. Um, I remember I mentioned it from time to time. Yeah. And I would get sad over it. No! Oh man, I mean, Aetheria definitely was a good. Oh man. Aetheria has so many memories. What happened to Vaiden? So, the thing with Vaiden is he kind of like. He's not. Like. All, I don't know how to describe it because like Candy made the character so I can't fully like think. He's there. I mean, well, I guess he's not now considering the finale, but like he only helps when, like how I interpret, he only helps when he finds it absolutely necessary because at the end of the day, I think while he's trying to help people come to make their greatest creations, he's not, he doesn't want to be the one to do it. He doesn't want to be like, you know, micromanaging his quote unquote savants or whatever. He tries to help them in his own way. And just because of how like the finale is, he didn't get to do that with Lally. And it's unfortunate, yes, but I guess that is kind of a more realistic outlook on a lot of things because sometimes you have these things that you want to do, but they don't get like tied up neatly. You don't always get to like do every single thing that you said you were going to do when you're like on a time pressure. And I guess that's one of the sad things with my character because she always wanted to be the, like, inventor, but she kept getting, like, torn between responsibilities as a vessel that, like, Rex was kind of pulling her towards, and, like, what she wanted to do with her city, and then her own personal pursues, pursuits, I don't know, um, of, like, inventing and building and all of that, and all of the things that she wanted for herself kind of got pushed aside in light of the more important matter of the edict in every single pressing issue that just kind of kept on rolling. And so it felt like you could never get that break sort of thing. And it's sad because that is what led to like discourse between her and Lenore. And as like a result, her lack of progress with Vaiden. So it's very unfortunate, but that is kind of how it kind of rolled down. So I hope that answers your question. Where did you get your ice necklace? We got that in the aether so the thing with the aether was every single area we kind of wanted there to be a like um resulting reward of sorts for one of the people in the arcs so for example cam got her like val got like knighted as a valkyrie is a knight of the right term i don't know but she became a valkyrie um marshy got the um the the the, the, the purification thingy <laughs> my brain i got the necklace in winter tide uh we'll go like when i go into the call with rex and raid him we'll end up going to like the aether and like going to all these different areas oh man the winter tide oh gosh was that a build and a half um <laughs> and then rex got anima in the first areas so yeah i still wonder if one day lamia could make an iron man suit oh she totally could like i feel like absolutely capable and she would rock that shit 100 percent uh, okay, but with that, I think we're gonna roll on over to Rex Hutter's call. Very short stream today, I'm aware. We're going on like not under an hour, uh, but I want to make sure we kind of like start getting back to where we're supposed to be and like grouping up and all of that. Uh, more questions can be asked at any point in time when we get to like, um, the Q and A, which will be after like the rest of the tours and whatnot. Oh my god, my eyebrows are like going in and out of existence. Hi, <laughs> um, and yeah. So let's let's go to Rex Peter's call. Let's give him some love and all of that. So let me go with my B or B. Here we go. Let's set up the raid. Do, 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 do. 
I do want to say thank you guys for the wonderful community. Um, as I said, there is a website now. I, I can like display it on the screen one last time right now. There is merch available as a kind of like a final goodbye type thing. There's logos for all the different things. So you got like Blood Oath, Vanguard, Peacekeepers, and Lion Dell. Then there's a marshy like rep and all of that. There's like the the the, the Rowan crown, <laughs> the crystals. There's the Vanguard family photo, and then just like a Mythos T-shirt. Uh, the website also has like other links on it too. I don't know how it's fully set up. I, th I saw what Ovek was doing. It looked really, really cool. But I would at least check that out. With that, I will see you guys in the Rexpeters call. Bye.